A committee studying the State Bureau of Investigation met for the first time Thursday. It may recommend changes to the Bureau's forensic laboratory. Serious questions about the lab surfaced following an independent review. It found hundreds of cases with questionable lab reports. In testimony, the lead auditor said, We think that the laboratory policy in that time period was very confusing to the analysts. Chris Wecker was speaking about 1987 to 2003, the period of his audit. The confusion for analysis was over how to report negative results for blood analysis tests. Those results could weigh heavily in suspects' guilt or innocence. Following the audit, the question is whether the forensic lab should remain a part of the SBI or gain some independence. I think that's an issue for tomorrow. That's an issue for next legislative session. Today, I am concentrated solely on fixing the problems. Making any changes to the SBI or its forensic lab will come with a price tag. And while it would be an important piece of new spending for the state, it couldn't come at a worse time. North Carolina is already facing at least a $3 billion deficit next year, and $1 billion in temporary taxes are set to expire. Cumberland County Democrat Rick Glazier says it's too early to even guess at how much money it may cost to reform the SBI. The costs of not doing that are far, far greater than whatever those costs are going to be. The SBI's director also spoke to the committee. He ran through changes at the SBI since the case review, including a search for a new forensic lab director. For CarolinaJournal.tv, I'm Anthony Greco.